All right, going to do a video exposing the fact that the uh, Talmudic Jewish lobby, especially in the Western world, is in complete cahoots with the abortion lobby in the Western world. That's the truth of the matter. The Because uh, why? Well, because uh, Judaism is of the devil. Judaism is Moloch worship. And stuff like this is proof of that. Okay? Because what were they doing? Well, they're worshiping Moloch. Well, abortion is just modern day Moloch worship. But this is on the Jewish Telegraph Agency. It says, uh, book ban, Ukraine and the end of row, the year 2022 in Jewish ideas. Let's see what some of these uh, Moloch worshiping ideas are. Jews and the end of Roe v. Wade. In June, the U.S. Supreme Court voted 5-4 to four to overturn Roe v. Wade. It was an unthinkable outcome for liberal Jewish activists, women especially, who for 50 years and more, and more had regarded the right to an abortion as integral, as integral to their Jewish identity and political worldview. Before the decision came down, Jewish studies scholar Michael, Michel, whatever, uh, Raucher, Question long-held Jewish organizational organizational views that justified abortion only on the narrowest of religious grounds without acknowledging that women uh, have the bodily autonomy to make that decision on their own. Uh, conversely, Avi Shafran the, of uh, Ag Ag Agdath, I guess I say it, Israel of America, welcomed the end of Roe on behalf of his Haredi Orthodox organization, writing that writing that the rabbis who guide us indisputably hold that uh, the, to, to hold that uh, absent, absent extraordinary circumstance, circumstances, terminating a pregnancy is a grave sin. Responding to Shafran Delphi, uh, Daphine Lazar Lazar Price, I can't say some of these names properly. Uh, bear with me. An Orthodox Jewish feminist argued that uh, even in her stringently religious community, getting an abortion is a conscious choice by women to follow their religious convictions and maintain their human dignity. Well, it just goes to show that even among factions of Judaism that would oppose it, they still have that mindset that it's okay. You know, because why? Well, again, Judaism is Moloch worship, uh, and the Talmudic Jewish lobby is in complete cahoots with the modern day form of uh, Moloch worship in abortion, you know, Planned Parenthood. The modern day, you know, baby butcher mill, which originally would have been giving the baby over to the Moloch statue. Now it's in the form of giving him over to the abortion doctor. Instead of a statue, it's a guy in a white coat. And the Talmudic Jewish lobby is in full cahoots. Because, well, the, well, both them and the abortion lobby are both just worshippers of Moloch and both of their father the devil. See, Judaism is a false religion. And by the way, when I criticize Talmudic Jews, I'm criticizing religious, you know, religion of Judaism, okay? Uh, racial Israel, while they are in a lot of sin, are still, they're still, uh, God still has a plan for them, I'll put it that way. So when I criticize Jews, I'm criticizing religious, religious Jews, who many of whom are not even of racial Israel. That's the thing, too. So I wanted to point that out before someone calls me anti-Semitic and, and you're racist and this and that. It's a bunch of garbage to shut down any kind of legitimate, you know, expressions of criticism of Judaism. Because apparently now Judaism, a religion, becomes a race. It's a bunch of garbage. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys that. Uh, don't be deceived. Judaism is of the devil. Matthew 23 and John chapter 8, John chapter 5. you got John chapter 10. Uh, show examples of them trying to shut down freedom of speech too, which I've covered in other videos. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.